So welcome back, question 31 about the circles. Uh, a little bit of problem solving to be done with this question. See how you get on with this. So here's a sketch of the, uh, the circle. And um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the shortest distance from the circle to the origin. So we're going to be interested in a point somewhere around here where um, that's the, the point which is closest to the origin. And that's going to be a point where um, if we draw a tangent here, um, it's going to be the point which is basically where the, where the tangent is, where the tangent is perpendicular to this radius here, uh, or that line rather that goes from C to O. So here's a rather smarter diagram showing that point and the tangent. So the distance we are interested in is this distance here from this point P, which is the point closest to the origin, um, to the origin. <laughs> so if we call that distance D, that's what we're looking for. Do we need to find the coordinates of P though? Some of you may have tried to find the coordinates of P and uh, good luck to those of you who did, but there might be a simpler way of doing it. Well, the point P is on the line OC, on this line here. Now, because OC uh, goes through the point P, we can calculate the length of D by saying that the length of D is the length of OC minus the length of PC. And of course, PC is the radius of the circle. So this comes down to finding the length of OC and the length of PC. So I think the tricky part of this question is over now. We've done the problem solving part. The rest of it's fairly straightforward. We find the coordinates of the center first by finding the midpoint of the points A and B. Then, and that's the 8, 6. Then we can find the length of OC using Pythagoras on the square root of 8 squared plus 6 squared. So that gives us OC equals to 10. And then PC is a radius. So PC is half of the diameter. And we can calculate that using the coordinates of A and B. There should be a bracket just there. And um, that gives us uh, the square root of 53. So putting that all together gives us D is 10 minus the square root of 53, which is approximately 2.72. So how did you get on with that question? Did you get the same answer as me? Did you use the same method? As I mentioned, there are uh, other methods. So uh, if you did get the same answer, well done.